Hello, hello everyone, and welcome to Haunted Cities Volume 3. Uh, this one is an epilepsy warning. If you have problems with that, I would highly suggest not watching. I will be putting this in the title. Um, I don't know what any of these games are, but this first one is called Basement. Once again, I don't know if there's endings to this game or not. We're just gonna run around and try to find stuff. Really not quite sure what's happening yet. <laughs> oh yeah, this is big epilepsy warning. Uh, also, headphone warning. It's also kind of loud. I can't read any of this. He... What is happening here? Oh my god, what is happening here? Turn everything down. Everything needs to be turned down. Oh my god, everything's so fucking loud. Like the way it feels, like blistering skin, not like really. That's what it is. So much heart in that paint and it kept the walls so fine and smooth for so long. Fine and smooth was not what they were meant to be. The heat was things to say about that crawling, curling, blackening things. Every hallway is a gamble when the castle's sliding down toward the ground, like said, and you're not at your best right now with that nightgown bunching up around your knees, catching you and tripping you because it's furious that you'd leave so many of its kin behind. It doesn't want you leaving. Oh God. What did I just sign myself up for? What did, what did I sign myself up for? We came- we went through this one. Uh, let's go this one. Orange and flickering all around on faces and trees and snow and pavement. Wild and grand and tall and dissolving things that have been with us for years. All that age and growth and memory twisting its way up toward the moon. Jesus Christ, we're right into it. Everything's gone wrong. Nothing in this one. Nothing in these little closets. Shit. What is what is stabbing down in the ceiling? Nothing in here? Oh my god. Yeah, this is true fucking epilepsy. Oh my god. Some get trapped inside, some run out and watch, some gather around to stare and see what happens. Some like the warmth, some wake up too late and get out. Some suck down smoke and drop, some sort through the ash later on. Fingers black and gray, ash and rain and damage, or pain and damage, not rain. Oh my god, what is happening? What is going on? Has opening doors ever hurt so much? They bite the hand now, glowing and livid, and who knows what's behind them. It won't be what you're expecting, or at least it will look very different. The place doesn't feel quite the same from down there doesn't making it pretty hard to find your way. You don't want to go in that room. The ashes are gathering their holding court, making decisions about what to do with all those photographs of you. The ones of summer and those friends you don't see anymore. The pool and the sunset and that night you snuck into mall. You're just going to have to give those up, I think. God, what the fuck? The heat warps everything, makes it bend and curl and dance. And the grandfather clock makes a different sound now. And the beds are all blazing, even fire needs to sleep sometime. And it can still kill you, even while it does. Ever see anything that violent before? She's kind of an image. Christ, Christ, what is happening here?
Down there is good for you, better for breathing, even if the floor is hotter than you'd like it to be. The shouting isn't down there, never was, and you can cut comb your fingers through the carpet and it'll teach you old songs or pollen and hair and dust and footsteps and mud. Better say your goodbyes now. Jesus fucking Christ, how do I get out of here? How do I how do I get out of here? One of these ways will let me out. Wait. Locked off. How do I get out of here? Oh my god. I'm lost. I'm so fucking lost. Like, I feel like that was the first one we read. Or is it this one? How do I get out of this house? How do I get out of this house? How do I get out of this house? Oh my fucking god. Everything's a fucking blur. Hold on, give me one just second. I've got no idea what I'm supposed to do. I can't leave. But this other- I watched some other person play this, and for them, apparently, like, it, like, kicked them out of the house at some point. But I don't know how they did that. Make it stop? Make it stop. When? I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing with this. What the fuck am I doing? I figured it out. When you press escape and it says leaving so soon, you you press Y or you press N. No. Fuck. Shouldn't have been so goddamn difficult. Everything's also so goddamn loud. Oh my god. Why does it have to be so loud? Went into the Burning Man one. What the fuck is going on with this one? I'm gonna read what that said, anyways. It's fine. Is this going? Oh my god, what is this? She clamps a hand down on the bleeding wound in her side, feeling remotely that it is not her hand, but the hand of the machine which she pilots, and that she is a small, vulnerable presence within the machine's full. The machine rises to its feet over many long, laborious movements. After many long, labored breaths, and begins walking forward, its legs expanding and contracting, flash fires signals of electricity thrown down from her throne in the school to tell the knees when to bend and when to open. But the machine is not operating at full capacity. It is dragging itself forward, crippled and broken, and it has no destination, and so it has no reason to operate at full speed. She could approach one of these dark houses, pound on its walls, and kick through with her great mechanical strength. But there is some part of her that knows to do so would only mean a slow, ignominious death on the couch of some reticent stranger. She, can, she could keep walking up the street, but she doesn't know what lays around the curve, what new landscape of shadow-dashing knife throwers she might find beyond the nearest fire hydrant, or streetlight, or corner house, or cul-de-sac. She looks back, or rather, turns the head of her machine to look back, in search of the knife she plucked... Up, up. I'm sinking. Uh... Uh, and searched the knife she plucked from her side and threw away. Already it is gone, dissolved into a smoke serpent impression in the sidewalk behind her, and thus it has betrayed her. It sank into her flesh and tasted her blood. 
One would think that at that very least it would grant her a favor in return. The machine opens its mouth to the sky and emits a grating rustling sound, a howling of metal, a laugh and a scream, and lets its hand down from its wound. And the blood that pours out is not red, but black and thick like mud, and the operator in the machine's head takes her hand from the controls. Thick as control is futile now, and the machine is not a vehicle now. It is a prison within a prison, its own entity, its own creature locked inside a maze it is powerless to negotiate, and she can neither help it nor be helped by it. The howl it lets out bangs across against the sky, echoing back at her, shaking the motionless trees and grating against the skin of her spine until the follicles of her hair stand up erect, and she clamps her hands to her ears and lets out a scream of her own. Stop, she screams. Stop, she screams again, because the first scream was not enough. Stop. Interesting. And I can't get past it. Okay. Yes. That one was interesting. Easier to figure out anyways. Alright, back at the beginning. We went to that one. Went to that one. Can't tell if there's another one back there. That's it. I think this might be the last one. No, I don't think there's another one back there. Okay. It means this one over here is the last one for the basements. What is happening down here? Everything's fucking. Ugh. Here's the epileptic warning. Do not watch. What the fuck? I'm stuck on something. I'm stuck on something? I'm stuck on something. Okay. I was stuck on something. Fine. Everything's fine! Everything's fine! Try this again, I guess. And there are four games in this little this little um haunted cities volume i think that's the norm for most of these other ones besides the first one which only had the three there we go just i can't read any of this Where's my... what the fuck It was cold in the mud there behind the tall building. Oh shit, I can't read. The mud was different too. It moved trying to hold me. I couldn't see my leg where you'd snapped it. But I could feel it dragging behind me by a tendon. I remember struggling to breathe and thinking, don't let it get me. I don't want to get I don't want it to get me. I don't know what I thought it was, only that there was something in that tall building. Or in the mud beneath me. Something that lapped at my fur and whispered to me, and I didn't want to be part of it. But I lost so much blood and I was so tired. Breathing was so hard and I could feel fluid in my lungs. Bullet bubbling each time I pant I panted um, the mud was cool and it promised to be gentle I guess I must have let it take me down I remember watching it cover my eyes And when I went down far enough, I didn't feel mud anymore. Shit, I can't fucking read. It felt like warm, warm, warm water and worms and roots. I can't fucking read. The, coiling the rope and slipping round my thighs and waist and throat. The tendon snapped and the roots pulled my leg away. 
I thought, am I being eaten? What is eating me? But it didn't want to eat me. It wanted to claim me, hold me close and make me part of it. I never saw its face and learned its name, but it was large. Read anything. Um, to taste the blood of dying animals and seek them out and carry them here to the shadow of the tall building. But the other side of the road, it must have brought you here too. You must have bled out on the mud as some mud somewhere. Funny though, it didn't put me in a cage. But then I never snapped anything's leg and then left it to die. Oh shit. Well, I apologize greatly. I meant nothing by this. I think I'm gonna leave now. I hope you and I, yeah, I'm, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm gone. Hasta la vista? Um, I think that might be it though. I think it was just the three. Yeah, okay. We are going to call oh, that one good. <laughs> that was basements, everyone. All right, we're going to move on to the next one. So I'll see you guys here in just a second. Okay, here we are again with Castle Worm Clot. Surface lock. Just once I wish a candle would light up green or blue. What, what am I even doing here? What are the controls? Uh, arrow keys to move, page up, down to pan, S to open surface slot, C to open castle lapathy window, I to open character info, space to interact. If flies get to be called flies, snakes should be called slithers. Bet I could get into the witch's hut if there was like a single crowbar and stuff anywhere. I bet I'd be a pretty good witch, spiders like me a whole lot. Two castle spots, that would be pretty cool. Snakes are just big worms with armor. My mask itches. Teleporting makes me want to puke every single time. I love it so much. I should take a bath tonight. That'd be nice. There's something crawling around on the inside of my mask. I think I'll name it Amanda. Teleporting. One day I'm going to run out of matches. Ugh, anxiety. I should wear more jewelry. Never seen a whale, not even a picture of one. Whoa. The nurse is like a billion hours away. I'm so hangry. Tail green, light blue is so nice to me. I hope they have a really good day, too. Uh... Okay. I peek. <laughs> I can turn back time. I can find a way. I wish I knew how to jump. Oh, do we not know how to jump? an interesting concept. Uh, so what was the other controls? I got confused. Me? What does I do mean? I character menu? Iconius? Wick lighter. Thanks, 89. Bloom staggering. Piety, 14. Woe, 912. Vomit, avant garde. Okay. This is an interesting concept. Where did it just take me? I'm assuming I'm just going to walk around and light all these. Awesome. I have no idea where the fuck I am, though. This is actually pretty cool. Look at how cool, look at how cool this looks. This one's just super pretty. Thank you. 
who are you? Ho hum, ho hum. Life here in the castle is so dreadfully dull sometimes. Oh, hello there, little candle keeper. Making the rounds, are you? Best of luck. Be careful not to fall off the walkways. You'll be snapped back to where you started, and it'll probably be slightly annoying. Tragedy of tragedies, am I right? Okay. Just gotta walk around and light candles, then. Cool. Sweet. I think this one's gonna be my favorite. I've declared it. This one will probably be my favorite. It's cute. It's a sweet little concept. like that bad boy. Hey, candles. Like candle. Candlesticks. Candlesticks. How many candlesticks are there? Oh boy. interesting. <gasps> I fell off again. Oops. My bad. Okay, and as I said, we'd start back from the beginning, so we're just gonna start from here. So, anyway, I guess I'll, I got a new beta fish. I've named him the Void because of his coloring. He's so cool looking. Left or right? I say we hang a left. Yeah, we're gonna hang a left. We'll go this way. That one's been lit. I think that one's been lit. I fell off again. How quaint of me. How quaint. <laughs> We're gonna go right. Seems to be a grave. I didn't expect myself to be this incompetent, I guess I should say. Is there no way to, like, walk faster? No? Okay. Okay, on the road. Dumbass. Okay. Follow the tree, you find an ornate red handled knife. It's slick with some kind of red fluid and smells like an insect's gut. Excuse me? You find a pair of eyeballs, they stare at you in mute surprise. Interesting. Very interesting. What's in this one? Find a small cardboard box filled with live beetles. They are playing some sort of tiny card game. You gently put the box back where you found it. You find a large mason jar filled with some kind of black, brackish green brown fluid. The label on the side reads Power Scum Energy Drink. Nice. You find a box of handgun ammunition. You leave it there for someone else to find. Why not take it? find an old headband with a fake flower on it. It's kind of pretty, but it's definitely a dress code violation. You put it back. I don't listen to no dress code. You find a bag of money angry at capitalism. You pitch it off the side of the island. Eat shit money. You go, boy. You go, boy. Here lieth you. Your life, Sister Kelmea. Died peacefully of old age. Not very funny, Kelmea. So, thanks for nothing. Your life, a brother for a rescue. Who did set himself ablaze. Some kind of sexting probs. 
Here lieth the real piece of shit. Just the worst asshole. Verily, I hated him. <laughs> Here lies Sister Verulana. Died of poisonous potions. She couldn't get enough of the stuff until she actually did. Here lieth Brother Monteo. Haunted savagely by ghosts. To be fair, they were people he'd killed. Karma sucks, huh, Monteo? Here lies Sister Hazessa. Stingeth to death by wasps. Stingeth? Stingeth? Stungeth? Whatever. Here lieth friend Gabbera. Not dead, just sleeping. They enjoyeth being buried, which is like, right on, you do you. Here lie brother Constanto. Talk shit, got hit with many swords. <laughs> That's cute. Okay, who are you? I am the gravekeeper. I keep these graves, understand? They're mine, the graves. You can't have them. I keep them. They're mine. I don't try to shake your little waxy light sticks from you, do I? Buzz off, dingus. Stay away from my graves. Yeah, I mean, I guess. Do I... Which way am I going? Like... Doing the rounds to light all the thingies. Can I interact with this? No? Okay, what do you have to say? Ooh, little candle keeper. Welcome to the chapel. Do you have any sins to confess? Hmm? Goodness, I'll bet you do too, you naughty little candle keeper. Bet you look the candles, don't you? Bet you like to, hmm, roll around on the floor. <laughs> Excuse you. God, these things are little bitches. Moving right along. Okay. Fall off again? Don't fall off again. Come this way. So I wonder how many, like, actually, I wonder how many light sticks we got a light in here. Oh, we lit this one already. Cool. That one. Got those. Okay. Keep going this way. Fall off again. Don't fall off. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Means we now want to go this way. Lots of candles to light. Oh, this is gonna be another. These are all gonna be super long. I apologize. Hey, you little candle creep, come here and push me off the sledge. Come on, it'll be hilarious. I just go ahead and jump off, but I'm fixed in place, trying not to think of it too hard just now, thanks. Come on, do it, you coward or something. Oh, there's no shove monk off sledge button, huh? Well, that's some bullshit. Okay, <laughs> what the fuck? What is going through their mind when they make these little games? Honestly, they're kind of funny. Way around town, walking fast, face fast, and we're homebound. Do 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 do. What do you have to say? Candlekeeper, hello, aren't you sweet? Keeping the castle's walkways illuminated. I know you don't have any choice but to do so, but goodness, it's still so nice of you. I was a candlekeeper myself once, once myself, you know. Then I was promoted to stationary mask haver, which I have been ever since. It's nice to have a sense of purpose, you know. 
Well, I'll bet you're just about the best candle keeper the castle's ever had. So diligent, so driven. So, eat case. Adorbs. He's kind of odd, but okay. Go down or we go around first? Go down. Go down. Did we get something for lighting all of them? I got no clue. You guys know about it as much about this game as I do at this point in time. I've got no thoughts. I do really love this little design though. The mixture of 3D with um, 2D. Cool. Wonder what might be in these trees. Let sci fire roar. You find a micro civilization of a diminutive ant like creatures living in an arcology of onyx and gold. Sound like they know what's going on. You find a pot of ink, black but shot through with swirls of glowing pearlescent violet. Violet. Enchanted, no doubt. Talk to you last, dude. And exploring. You find a small cloth flower with a clip on the back. You clip it to the edge of your hood and instantly feel super cute. Fuck yeah, you do. They're to be cute. You find nine bone crystal for it, even using 189 zenny. You find a key ring with three large old looking keys. They're unusually warm to the touch. Hmm, okay. So we did all that. We looked around. I guess it's just time to talk to these dudes. Welcome to the village, Candlekeeper. I'm afraid there's a little and less to do around here, but you're welcome just the same. Once the tavern was an excellent place to gather and make merry, then the door disappeared. Weird how that can make a place seem less inviting. If you look closely at the trees here and on of the other islands, you may find nice things within their hollows. I did. Wish this tavern had a door. I'd do anything for a tall, frothy one right about now. Standing around wiggling my mask and repeating the same three lines is thirsty work. Can you even drink with that weird beak thing? What the fuck are you anyway? <laughs> That's just a casual. What the fuck are you? Alright. Loop back around this way, I guess. I do really wish there was a way to like move faster. Okay. Kind of things to talk about. already established this way. Graveyard. It all seem to be lit. Okay. Try this again. Half an hour in, and all you guys are doing is watching this little dude walk around. Oh, we went to the little village, so moving on. We can bypass the one that goes down.
so this time we can just go straight. These candles lit. Oh, that's so pretty. on a floating castle in the sky? Jesus fucking Christ. I'm fast walking fast and we're homebound. Do 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 do. I just walk around the outside, I guess. I will probably speed this part up because this is a lot of walking. Candles are lit. Almost looped all the way back around. That candle's definitely lit. Want to make sure there's. I think we talked to that dude already, but just in case, I want to go talk to him again. We definitely talked about that thing's lit. Yeah, this is a dude that told us to be careful about not falling off the walkways, so these are all lit. One over here is lit, which means this is the final island. And then everything's lit, I think. Find a very small, finely cracked porcelain statuette of a unicorn. A unicorn? You. You find someone's notes regarding the configuration of the castle's various turrets and corresponding astrological signs. Person talk to you. You find a rather large centipede. This one is a lady centipede. You can tell by the little pink bow on its head. Yep. I was not finished. Congratulations, thou hast lit all of yon candles. Thy tolerance for tedium must be remarkable. Thy vigils complete, take thy deserved rest. Thank thee for playing. Cool. Alright, that one's finished. Uh, we got all the candles. I'm not going back to see what those last two dudes had to say. Or if we could go into that one door. Not doing it. Okay, so moving on to the next one. Okay. Next one here is called Ghostly. Rightly know what we're doing with this one. Uh, was space to jump, left click, F to interact, right click to zoom, escape to exit. The, oh my god, all of the Kitty Horror Show's graphics kind of give me, make me nauseous. They're very hard to look at. The 
going to head towards the office real quick. The uh, very big, obvious green. And a purple car! Ugly little hamlet, isn't it? Kind of a place where everyone knows everything about everyone else's business. Blink and you'll miss it. Of course, there are countless little towns like this, but this one was ours. If I sound sentimental, I'm not. We didn't ask for this town. Nobody ever does. Feel free to go wherever. Do whatever. All the doors stabbed over. Nobody's coming to come out and hassle you. I'll give you the tour if you find anything worth knowing about. Um. Okay. Nice. Okay, this is where we started. How do I reverse? I got myself stuck. What the fuck? What the fuck is this? Big empty nothingness, I guess. <laughs> okay, can I guess I'm just gonna continue driving through to, towards the school? Skeleton? Will it let me? What is this? What is this? How do I get out? F to exit. You didn't think you were the only one, did you? What? Excuse me? It won't let me. It's like it won't let me accelerate. Okay, so I can't go in there. reverse and go forward. You need to run into every tree possible. Okay, 
Hold on. Let me accelerate. I'm getting there, I promise. Wait a minute, I think I see another thingy off in the distance. gotta say. There she is, all warm and waist deep in her milk and rose petal bath. What does she look like to you? She's different to everyone. To me, she was a nude woman's body with coyote legs and a face split down the middle. Prettiest thing I ever saw until her skin started sliding off. Gunked up the lake pretty hard. Tried swimming in it once. That was not gonna happen. is happening with this okay I want to keep an eye out for more green off that way Where'd I go? To the town again? bubbles to read. I always wondered about these little clutches, these huddled little half dozens of houses that always seem to curl around the outside corners of these kinds of towns. Always so quiet and still, never a light on after 9 p.m., standing so far apart from everything else. You can never look in the windows because the lost silky drapes are always drawn. Whatever walks inside these houses stirs dust off the floor, shuffles its feet because its legs are too weak, and picks them up very much. When you drive past them at night, you shut your lights off for fear of waking them up while everyone else does. Your lights don't shut off. Okay. Next. Here's the next amount of green. You got this. Go faster. I don't know how many of these little green bubbles we need to find. Look at all those bats, just turning with sweet, delicious chemicals. Before you ask, I have no idea. Nobody knew, not specifically. It was just everything. The sludge of everything, the ichor and sweat and piss and venom of everything. Yeah. Sludge everything that seeps into the ground when enough people stay in one place too long. 
They refine it or they distill it. Or they turn it into Gatorade. Who the fuck knows? It was our chief export, strictly speaking, even though we didn't export it anywhere. No where to export it to. Who'd want it? It was us, even if we didn't want us. Fuck. Wait, hold on. I need to see how many of these things there are. Moving on. Uh, nobody could really tell me how many orbs there are. You can fuck around with the lighting, though. If I turn the lighting up, try and make it easier to find. Try and see any color whatsoever, I guess. Not recommended, but I'm gonna do it regardless because I can't see anything. I'm just going to follow this road for now, trying to not see any more green. Oh, there's one in the distance. It's a really big map. Yeah, this is a super big map. Oh my god. Okay. So this tunnel is kind of interesting because it wasn't here to start with. One of the few times the folks from the town never tried to do anything. Started to wonder what was out there and how did we get to it. So they started trying to dig it. Never finished though. Every day it was some new bullshit. Night crawlers tunneling up through your feet. Or cave-ins or weird mist that turned you inside out. Eventually, people just started getting exhausted and stopped showing up. Went back home, shut their doors, threw the curtains, turned their TVs on, and just fucking gave up. Didn't even go back to the factory, most of them. Pretend was just sort of gone after that, so like, why bother? That's around when all the doors scabbed over. Huh. I didn't want to get out. Get me back in. I see another one off in the distance. I wonder if this game will tell me if I've caught, if I found all the orbs. Three. Where's it at? Gas station, huh? Electricity and gasoline and hard light and a cloud of moss that will starve soon. Mother's milk. This flavor of night is available nowhere else. You could bathe in it. Tastes like oil and sugar and cheap beer and cigarette smoke and the curve of a neck wearing sweat and thinning perfume. It clings to you. You drag it with you on your heels. It hangs off your hair. Makes your tongue and fingers feel sticky. Some people don't like that feeling. Never trust those people. Ooh. That doesn't sound very good. need to follow the road, I guess. Okay. Let's take us back to the town. it does. 
Yeah, I think this is where we started. Before we move on from here and we continue following the road, I just want to... On a loopy loop through here. Oh. Okay. It didn't seem like there was anything to go here. Okay. the road and keep following that, I guess. Game, this entire game is very weird. Yeah, we probably want to turn here, but I want to see if there's anything up here. Yeah, there is. Okay. like you and me we need some place nearby where we can just go sometimes some place that's just for us quiet and alone like a clubhouse when you were a kid kind of in towns this size it really gets to be a building though usually it's the underside of a bridge or some patch of the railroad or a creek or some shit anyway this was mine i'm probably still under the snow there somewhere i went after everyone else got shut up in their houses nobody came looking it's fine though i didn't come here because i wanted to be found you know so don't go digging for me or anything you creep Oh. That's sad. Okay. Try to get out of here. Did the road go? There it is. Okay. We got that one already. The car crash. anything else. Maybe we did find everything. Oh, 
Okay, well, we might just follow this one here. Yeah, okay, we might call this one here. I'm not seeing anything else. We explored a lot, though. Like, I'm seeing the houses in the distance, but I'm not seeing any more green. This might just be another one of those that doesn't have a ending. Okay, well, I think we're gonna call this one here. Yes. And move on to the last one. All right, this last one is called Seven Days. Here we are on Monday. My controls. Pause to move, space to jump, shift to run, F to interact. Woke up early this morning, but wound up spending four hours just laying there, listening to the radio tower down the block, droning on about the state of the grid. No flurries today, no mists, no storms, just heat, and the kind that makes you feel like you're drinking the air. Leaves a film on your skin like you're some kind of wetland amphibian. When I finally dragged myself out of bed, it was mid-afternoon, and I knew the day was going to be a write-off. Well, I wanted to go to, the, go to the store, though, because I know how I spiral if I don't exercise at least a little bit. I decided I'd pick up some booze and snacks and have a fuck at night. Give myself a break, do chess puzzles, and watch some of that CCTV footage Gage sent me from the Wales, from the Walt City, where the doll makers live. He says they get real fucked up in there. Weird parties and automaton circuses, blood sports. I'm not usually into reality TV, but I trust Gage to know when I dig something. Huh. The green haze over everything. On the way to the store, just on the far side of the overpass, I looked up and saw this shivering black shape that went 20 feet up. It looked like a blob of ink hanging in the sky, only it was hard, like spikes instead of blotches, and it was twitching like it was electrified. I'd never seen an anomaly that pronounced before. I almost pissed myself until I remembered I was an O zero any 9 why I didn't have anything to worry about. Nothing in my blood for the anomalies to latch onto. I feel so bad for the AB positive. Oh, O neg, an O neg. <laughs> o negative. Okay. I'd never leave my house. I, I looked up at some of the bu buildings on the far side of the street, and in the windows I could see the faces of some people pressed up against the glass. They looked like they were howling, wailing in pain and sadness, trying to push themselves through the glass so they could get at the anomaly hanging two stories up in the air. The more windows I looked in, the more people I saw. I wondered what would happen to them if they could have gotten up to the thing and touched it like they seemed to want to. I've heard stories about what happens when you make direct contact with an anomaly and they're all nightmares. Another bed? Bathroom? I'm just a green floating light, I guess. What the fuck? When I got to the store, the security agent outside wasn't anyone I knew. I think he must have been new, because you could tell he was taking his job way too seriously. It's just a fucking grocery store, but he's out front checking levels on every single person trying to get in. There was an actual line to get through the door. When it was my turn, I held out my wrist and he leveled me. I started walking in when he grabs me by the arm. He screams, I don't fucking think so. And I remember that they don't just check for blood toxins anymore. Now they check for anomalous radiation too. I'd gotten too close, even if it hadn't done anything to me. I tried telling him that I was O-neg, even though I knew that didn't mean anything. The damage was done. He put his hands on my shoulders and shoved me hard out of the line. A couple of people gasped. 
I can feel myself starting to cry instantly, so I pretty much just fled. I fucking hate people sometimes. It's not enough to stop someone from doing something they need to do. I need to make sure they feel as pathetic as possible in the process. I feel terrible for thinking this way, but a part of me hopes he's AB positive and touching me made him puke his guts out later on. Valid point. What else am I looking for? Are there like more notes somewhere? So obviously there's seven days. We went through the first one. Going through the first one, I should say. Can't get out there. There's any more notes. Can't open anything else. What am I supposed to do here? What am I supposed to do? So I can't fucking see. Oh, seriously, what am I supposed to do? Oh, somebody give me an explanation! <laughs> on. Okay, so apparently with this one, as you get to the next day, you actually have to, um, change. It actually has to wait, uh, you have to wait until the next day. Um, I'm not doing that. I'm gonna change the setting, the change the day manually. And see if that works. Because I don't want to wait that long. It says Tuesday now. It says Tuesday. It says Tuesday, it worked. What the fuck? You got a train? What in the actual hell? What? The fuck? That's cool, that's cool. Oh my god, that's so cool! Didn't make it to the store today. I had to stop at the train crossing because the train had woken up and was having a tantrum. Pretty wet, bad one too. All of its legs and forelegs were flailing and whipping and it kept lurching from side to side like it was trying to wrench itself off the tracks. Tear the membrane. It kept screaming and screaming, that awful train scream. That sounds like the wailing of rusted metal. The angry shrieks of an old woman. The train was long enough that I couldn't have gone through behind it. And the, tr the track in front of it was suspended over the seat creek. It runs along the bike path. The one with like 30 foot sheer walls that's mostly just a bed of trash while a little thin line of running water in the middle just had to wait okay cool oh my god this is pretty cool the train day guys it's a train day when i showed up there were only a few responders from the city trying to deal with the thing but more started coming they milled around with their needle rods trying to jab the train's chassis and get it sedated again but its legs kept whipping and lashing so they couldn't get too close. One of the responders chanced it and had a four-leg shot straight through his neck and decapitated him. And his body fell over and his neck poured out the gray curdled milks that they have for blood. He was at least 30 feet away from the train the whole time just watching, but I guess that was too close for one responder because he shouted at me to get the fuck back and shoulder checked me. And I fell on my ass into the mud. This is so cool! Look at this! Cool. Wow. This is fucking neat. Okay. Assuming there's like three notes for every day. Where is the third one? Can't open doors. Not open doors. There's a third one. Okay. I thought about crying but didn't end up doing it. I was too tired, in a weird way, and I just sort of felt defeated rather than hurt. One of those fucking figures moments. I sat there like I that like that for 40 minutes watching the responders trying to deal with the train, jabbing it with needles. None of them half hassled me after the first one. Two more got cut in half, and the other just sort of worked around their bodies. It took nearly 20 responders, but finally they got the train doped up enough to put it back to sleep and set it moving again. 
Then they cleared out and just left the bodies behind like that. More trash for the world pile. I got back up after the train had passed. I could have gone on to the store like that, but I just felt tired and my ass was soaked with mud. So there didn't seem to be much point. I went home and showered and the crying caught up to me then. Alright then. Okay. I gotta say, this, this, uh, shit. This? This is cool. This is cool. Look at this. Okay. That being said, let's get on to Wednesday. 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 Alright, everyone. Finally got it worked. The moon. Super dark out here. Wednesday is a black and white type of day, I guess. Making sure there's no... No notes out here. I woke up today in a good mood. Not sure why. It's kind of happens sometimes. Maybe I go to bed a little early the night before. I just sleep a little better somehow. And then I wake up feeling actually rested and I get right out of bed instead of laying there awake for two hours. I checked the weather and it was toxic flurries, but light enough that my mask would take care of it. I still have plenty of filters left from that bulk sale. Back when my friend Alma drove me to the store and I got to use her trunk. Sometimes I think about calling her family and asking how they're doing. She got caught out one night when the city grid went down and a street sweeper chewed her up. Her little brother might remember me, but I didn't really know the rest of her family at all. So I usually end up deciding not to call. I like it'd be more disrespectful than just leaving them alone. That's, that's the excuse I make for myself, at least. Yikes. Oh, what? What? An eyeball? It's really dark. Really dark. Holy hell. I feel like I can barely see anything. note in here. Oh, this one. It's on the bed. Okay. Because I slept well and I had energy, I decided to take my scenic route through the outskirts. The one that would take me through the little fake gated community the city built for its anomalous event preparedness testing. I like it because the houses are all spaced out and empty, and inside them it's all white walls and white floors. When it flurries like this, it's like this bright, idyllic little suburb on a snow day. Nobody ever goes there, and the city it doesn't use it anymore, and the streets are broad, so it feels peaceful and isolated. I probably wouldn't have time to do it and go into any of the houses, but if I packed an extra filter, I knew I could at least walk through it. When I got there, though, it was gone. The whole thing sucked up down into one of those boreholes that I have been appearing outside the city limits. Interesting. Over here? No. Nothing. Not a. Not a shingle thing. Last one. I don't know if borehole is the right word for the, those things. It probably isn't, but that's what I started calling them. Just a quarter mile wide hole in the ground. Perfect cylinder slipped out of the world like a puzzle piece deeper than sight. The ash floors blow away from them like there's some kind of draft you can't feel, and they seem to eat town. On the far inner wall of it, about 30 feet below the surface, there was an exposed axe tunnel that was like looking down the open mouth of an artery in a wall of dark swamp tissue. The lights in the tunnel were still on, but blinking like they'd been damaged. I just stared at it for a while, feeling the shitty impotent anger at it because I'd never see that nice prop suburb again. That place had been mine, it felt like, and the hole had taken it away. I had to double check, double back to go the normal route. I almost dropped my new mask filter into the borehole when I switched them out, but I caught myself. Alrighty then. It's just so dark. Okay. Next day, next day. Alright, let's go. Thursday. In a tunnel? Interesting. This is Wednesday. I was hungover today, so I ended up staying in bed until almost 6 p.m. Even though I didn't feel 100%, but after walking around the house for a bit and drinking some water and eating some food, I at least felt capable of standing. Couldn't afford not to get to the store tonight. I put off refilling my hormones for too long, and now I was out. Oh. 
Man. I don't know why I do this to myself. I have money in hand. I can refill them whenever I need, but I always end up putting them off until the very last second. Checked the weather in the city grid status, misting, so I didn't need a mask, but the control grid was down, so the street sweepers would be hunting. City sec was working to address the problem as soon as possible from my continued excellent service. Which meant I would probably be down all night. I had to go to the store, though, so I had to use the sewers. Sewers. Gross. <laughs> They make me very uncomfortable. Oh, they make me so uncomfortable. I fucking hate going through the sewers. I don't know what it is about the sewers in this town, but it's like everyone down there has something to say to you. People just walk right up and touch you, put their arm, their hand on your arm, shout hey at you over and over when you've got headphones in, asking your blood type, or trying to shove little religious comics onto your, into your hand. I've read online. That sewers in other cities aren't so bad, but it can actually be really bright and fun and safe with cool places to hang out and interesting cultural stuff going on. Not here. Red-faced guy in my past saw me coming and started shouting at me, asking me over and over if I was if I was an O-neg, like it was any of his business. I kept my head down and walked past, but I could hear him starting to approach me from behind, sneaking up with me. I walked faster and heard him shouting, fuck you at me, then back up to street level when I was still two blocks away from the store just because I was scared. The thought... A murderous patrolling automaton seemed somehow less threatening than a drunk old man who decided I was a problem. I did see one street sweeper, but it didn't see me. Why are you guys outside my house? Why are you- I'm sorry. Are you in my yard? Are you guys? When I got to the store, the security agent outside was the girl who remembers me and always smiles. She had her hood off even though it was misting, and her mask was down around her chin, and she was spinning her blood level gun around one finger. She's really pretty, and I can tell she thinks I'm cute, but I'm also positive she just has me clocked as a vaguely femmy dude, because I never present when I go there. So the attention doesn't flatter, it just hurts. She didn't bother to check my levels though, just said hey and winked and let me go in. I think I must have looked rattled and she didn't want to hassle me. She knows I'm an O-neg, she is too. I keep thinking one of these days I'll ask her name, but I always talk myself out of it because there's no point. She'd end up asking for mine. I didn't get my hormones refilled, I'd woken up too late and the sewer trip had taken too long, so the pharmacy was closed when I got there. Hot beer I didn't want, just so I wouldn't look like I'd fucked up completely. I turn around, it's me right there, ain't it? I hate all of this. We're out. Thursday, done. Bamboozled. Next day, Friday. Okay, inside on Friday. What is outside? What the fuck is this? Look, we have a shower. Oh, uh, we have a bathroom today? We do indeed have a bathroom today. Okay. Where the fuck is this? Need to find my letters. First one. No chance of going to the store today. It's root day. So everyone and their fucking grandma is out in the streets, congesting the entire city, digging in the mud for those little clusters of black ink cramming their mouths full of it, drunk out of their minds on the nectar, and publicly banging each other's brains out. I'm thankful at least that I don't have anywhere to be, and don't work anywhere that's open, and I made sure to grab all the stuff I'd need for a few days the last time I went to the store. Still, now that I can't leave, I'm resentful about it. I'm being trapped in my house because of this bullshit celebration of nothing. Probably wouldn't even go anywhere, but just the fact that it's not a choice has my hands up. Any other day, and working up the nerve to get out would be like squeezing blood from a stone. It figures, I guess. Fuck is a root day.
My sort of friend Becca calls me around two in the afternoon. I haven't been talking to her much lately because every time I do, she says something shitty or talks down to me, and I end up pissed off about it for days. She did it again this time. Hey girl, she yelled out in her loud, happy, day drunk voice. I could imagine the black hair like fibers of the roots threaded between her grinning teeth. Where are you at? Home, I said. Are you fucking serious? No, get out here. I don't want to, I said. This isn't my day. She must have been found a quiet alcove because I actually hear her sigh in the pitying, patronizing, you poor thing way. Babe, I know this stuff is hard for you. I get that, but you can't let shitty stuff that happens to you rule your life. I promise if you come out, you'd feel better. I would show you a good time. I don't like the wording of that. They don't like the wording of that. This one's right here. I just want to look around real quick, though. I like the color of this day the most, I think. Like, this? This is pretty. It's fucking terrifying, but it's pretty. This is the kind of shit I'm talking about. There is no shitty stuff that happened to make me hate Route Day. I just don't like eating the stuff, I don't like what it does to me, and the thought of being out in the sludge and mud and smoke, trapped in this seething mass of loud, horny strangers makes me feel sick. But Becca can't reconcile, so I... So she decides there must be some kind of trauma there. Some shitty stuff that I've gone through to make me afraid of this objectively great fun thing that I should like because everyone does. So she treats me like this wounded fawn in need of care and rescue, pities me, and waits for the day I'll come out of my shell. I feel less like a friend and more like a pet project, something she can pat herself on the back about. I said have fun and hung up, and she at least had the sense not to call back. I spent most of the day listening to old transmissions from the Dollmaker City on my headphones to drown out the yelling, the sounds of street supers lighting the crowds. I didn't get to sleep until 5 a.m. Alright then. Well, that's root day, guys. Friday, root day, Friday. <laughs> Trying to get through these things as fast as possible so it's not an extremely long episode, but it's probably already there. Alright, everyone, it's Shutter Day. And we appear to be in a city now, which this kind of looks like Leechful. What is this one? Does our house just kind of end up wherever? Oh, what is- what are- what are all these pictures? Flies? I headed to the store early today. I'd woken up a little late, but I was a little more energetic than usual, so I didn't spend as much time laying around as I normally do. There weren't even any flurries today, just mist, so I didn't have to wear my mask. I had to detox as soon as I got back home. I would have liked to win a mist. It probably sucks for people who drive, but since I walk, the low visibility isn't a problem. It gives everything this quiet, haunted closeness. Everything's dark and wet, and the air tastes like nail polish and river and warm concrete. The store even had everything in stock for once, so I was able to take everything off my list. I always like how that feels. What the fuck is up with flies? There's flies in my home! Gross! I can cross my vision and shit. On the way back home, though, I saw something in the middle of the street just a few blocks away from the house. I wasn't sure what I was looking at first. It was like this huge pile of small, jagged shapes covered in a coat of squirming black something. The bird fell out of the sky almost next to it, and the pile seemed to explode. The oily black coat bursting into a huge cloud of swarming dots. They were flies, and the thing they'd been covering was a huge pile of bones. It was mostly chicken bones, still with bits of meat and greasy fried stuff on them. But there were other kinds mixed in, too. It must have been a full bag that had fallen off the back of an Osteo truck smashed open, and the flies were having a field day. They settled back down on the pile, and now the bird as well. I had to cross the next street over to cut through some warehouses, which I really prefer to avoid. Jesus. Something over here. It's just kind of unsettling. After I got home and detoxed and showered, I tried to get some work done, but I couldn't. I kept thinking about the bones and the flies. I don't know why it wasn't anything I hadn't seen before. Maybe it was just that I hadn't seen it in that kind of volume. Like a whole huge pile, a whole swarm like that. I kept thinking about what would have happened if I tried to walk through the swarm, and I imagined flies getting up my nose and into my mouth, my skin just kind of dissolving off my bones while they swarmed around me. Their little tin stomachs turning my meat into oil, 
or thermal paste or whatever. I hated thinking about it, but the fact that I wanted to stop just kept it in my head. I finally just gave up on work. I hate that something so small could cost me an entire day. I don't know how I'm going to catch back up. Not when it's this easy to fuck up my whole mental state. Great. Great. That was Saturday, everyone. One more day. One more. One more. Ugh. Monday, everyone. Last day. Whoa. <laughs> look, look at this one. Oh, shit. That was cool. living room. All our beds are missing. Look at that view. It's been raining for days and the streets are flooded, so no chance of getting to the store today. There are a few things I was looking forward to getting, but nothing urgent, so no huge loss. Rain is unusual. Always ash flurries and mist lately, but no rain. Now suddenly we're getting tons of it, and it's nice. The streets are pretty when they're flooded, and even the torn-up houses all around mine give this kind of wild look to them. Like they're part of nature again, and not just these splintered eyesores. Across the lodge, the flat roof church next door. Sat up there for a while, drinking beer and watching the storm after the sun went down. The sky was violet and rolling, roiling when the heat lightning made like a cloud flash. You see the silhouettes of the tower, pillars milling across the horizon, fuller than the trees and buildings, groping at nothing out of material. It's been a while since I felt that nice. an interesting concept. Okay. One time the wall of the upper level of the church next door got tagged, the one that sort of divides the roof into two tiers. The city responder came out and had to clean it up, I guess all by himself. I went out onto my perch to keep off some ash and he yelled at me to come over. I just sort of stood there so he came to the edge of the church roof and yelled at me. Do you know anything about this? And his droning mirror eye masked voice my head. Yeah, that's funny because I asked some of your neighbors and they said you did it. I said, I don't have neighbors. My house is the only one in two blocks that hasn't been shredded into unlivability. A rampaging street to push the fly infestations were just eroded by the mist. He didn't like that answer. I think he would have come after me, but I went inside and started blaring an old recording of a number station. They don't like that. It disorients them, I think. It makes them put their hands up to their heads. He didn't finish cleaning the tag. Yeah, you have no neighbors, and you're like, yeah, well, I asked your neighbors, and your neighbors said. Um, I don't have any neighbors, first of all, dipshit. Do you see anybody living around here? No. Oh, there's the last one. Shit. I want to finish looking inside first. Okay. Is there anything down this way? Ooh, that's pretty. sure why it is that my house had been spared. I know it's not luck, because I don't have much of that. Certainly not enough to keep a house from being ripped apart. I sometimes wonder if it has something to do with being an oneg. Like, maybe the flies can smell it, so they stay away. Something about my blood makes me harder for the street sweepers to see me through the walls when the city set grid goes down. I don't think it's that, though. Not really. The fly thing, maybe, but not the sweepers. They don't give a shit what flavor your blood is. Sometimes I wonder if it's maybe just the fact that I'd be too easy. If my house were destroyed by some catastrophic bullshit, it would catalyze a lot of some changes for better or worse. Sometimes it feels like change doesn't want to have much to do with me. It sounds like I'm complaining, but I'm not, of course. I'm not eager for my house to be shredded. It just strange is all. Alright. Well, that's all seven days, guys. All seven days. We're just gonna... Bow, 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 bow. Uh... sign in the corner sorry <laughs> all right so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this uh yeah haunted city is is really interesting they're all really interesting concepts by kitty horror show they all like tackle different things a lot of them some very deep triggering topics so take care of your guys take care of yourselves please yeah i yeah so we're gonna call this one here i do have there's one more haunted cities volume that we need to finish, that we'll need to go around to getting to, but we'll get there eventually. That being said, 
I do hope you guys enjoyed this. If you liked it, please let me know in the comments down below. Hit the like button, share, subscribe. If you have any video game suggestions, games or developers you'd like me to check out, either leave them in the comments down below and or there is a Google Forms link in the description down below that I check for fairly often and I have plans to go through all of them eventually. So, that being said, I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye!